invite Dr. Nishikant Jyapekar, who is a um, assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering in Kalinga University. Uh, dear sir, I am behalf of my faculty and my, my department um, welcome you for today's uh, expert session. And uh, concrete and uh, yeah. research are the ones which are the uh, which are going to be uh, the future of our uh, civil engineers. So in that direction, I would also like to congratulate uh, uh, Dr. Gamma Vishwanath Kante for taking up this um, um, initiative to organize um, your expert lecture. So in the in the context of uh, um, uh, rising carbon footprints and again uh, the um, universal call for reducing the carbon emissions and construction is also considered as one of the <clears throat> one of the source for carbon emissions and um, global warming so it would be definitely very very uh, informative I, I hope that this session will be very informative and uh, we are all uh, we are all will be uh, very lucky to hear your session sir on behalf of my department i welcome you once again sir thank you sir thank you Yes, it's over to you, uh, Dr. Kante, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your welcome speech. Uh, now I will uh, I will introduce to our great uh, uh, yes speaker, Dr. Nishikant Nathika, sir. And uh, sir has an assistant professor and in charge head of the Department of Civil Engineering from Kalinga University, Raipur, yes, from Chhattisgarh. Sir, having uh, vast experience more than 17 years in the teaching, as well as uh, he is uh, <coughs> so many research scholars, uh, supervisors also for PhD, and so many consultancy works, assignments sir has completed uh, from the various government, non-government bodies, and uh, sir also having a vast uh, experience in research. Sir has published more than 40 research papers from national and international uh, levels uh, in the various uh, industry journals. And also, uh, Sir has developed <coughs> his own software uh, related to the concrete technology by using ANN. Sir also explained to this uh, lecture uh, a few guidelines on that one also. So, on the behalf of uh, Guru Gobind Singh Engineering College and Guru Gobind Singh Foundation, I welcome you, sir, for today's uh, this uh, session. Thank you. I hope the student will be enjoying this session. So, I request you to uh, start this uh, session. Okay. <coughs> uh, you can share your screen, <coughs> sir. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kante, sir. You please stop sharing your from my side, then I will start. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes. So, good noon to all of you students. My screen is visible to all of you. Please let me know so that I can yeah. start then. Screen yes, is visible? Is. Okay. Yes, sir. And my voice is yes, audible sir. properly? Yes, sir. Your voice also oh, properly. Okay. okay, okay. So, good noon to all of you. And uh, uh, today, uh, one request uh, if it is uh, make a full screen. Acha full screen. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, today's topic is microstructural analysis of recycled aggregate concrete. Recycled aggregate concrete is widely used nowadays in European countries, in developed countries, but India, so far, in Indian Standard Code of Practice, IS 456, clauses are not yet incorporated regarding this use of recycled coarse aggregates. So as you know, the importance of this type of concrete, that uh, service life of uh, structure is around 60 70 years if we go for the maintenance repairing 80 85 but a day will come when structure will have to be demolished and new one will have to be constructed in that regard whatever the 
वेस्ट मटेरियल आफ्टर डिमोल्यूशन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर वी आर गेटिंग एग्रीकेट्स आई एम फोकसिंग अपॉन इन माय टूडेज गेस्ट लेक्चर दोज एग्रीकेट्स कैन बी रीयूज इन न्यू कंस्ट्रक्शन सो द मेजर बेनिफिट ऑफ दैट वी कैन सेव इन्वायरमेंट एंड दीज रिसाइकल्ड एग्रीकेट्स at least up to 20% if we can replace in major structural components it will be very much helpful useful which may stop i cannot say it may stop but up to some extent it can reduce the mining activities for virgin aggregates we have to blast we have to uh, take uh, we have to use those stone rubbles in crusher unit and virgin aggregates we are getting but today's lecture is mainly focused on how to use these recycled aggregates we cannot till date i am talking about we cannot replace 100% we will not get good serviceability and uh, those desired properties after using 50% of the recycled aggregates or 100% recycled no but if we can replace up to 20 25 30% also it can minimize the usage of virgin aggregates in new construction in new construction activities in fresh concrete so this topic is when we are talking about the use of recycled aggregates in fresh concrete then only casting the cubes testing those cubes in compression testing machine getting desired compressive strength target strength is not enough to use those recycled aggregates so we have to go further for serviceability aspects if we want yes you have Uh, got a compressive strength say for m20 grade concrete you are getting 24 25 like this mega pascal you cannot say that these recycled aggregates can be used and proceed and construct no apart from this compressive strength you have to proceed further which reflects the serviceability and durability of concrete now for serviceability and durability aspects we have to test there are lot of methodologies mentioned in uh, reputed journals related to the testing of the concrete samples but the major tests to be conducted and the equipments high end equipments which are used for such types of tests are one x ray diffraction second one scanning electron microscopy third one edx and so on there are a lot of tests but minimum these two or three tests you have to do in order to ensure that your sample concrete sample is good enough and it will definitely give a durable concrete so my today's lecture is focused upon how to proceed for this microstructural analysis using sem scanning electron microscope in today's lecture i am not going to discuss the parameters which reflects the durability and serviceability of concrete through x-ray diffraction or through edx no today i shall demonstrate my own developed software which will utilize the data obtained from sem and which will give you the predictive values this software is based upon the artificial intelligence neural model will be developed but one question may arise in your mind after some time i shall uh, give you the demonstration of that software then i shall uh, discuss these points 
that this software which I have developed gives predictions. What is the use of those sort of predictions? Those predictions are helpful to decide your mix design for recycled aggregate concrete. If you will refer to the standard course of practices for mix design, can anyone tell me the name of the code in which few clauses for recycled aggregates has been mentioned? Or can anyone tell me in IS 456, this is the clause which promotes the use of recycled aggregates? Anyone in this guest lecture? Anyway, <coughs> after this lecture, you please go through these codes and try to find what clauses are mentioned regarding the use of recycled aggregates in Indian Standard Codes of Practices, General Code of Practice 456 or Mixed Design Code of Practice. So today's title, today's lecture is for microstructural analysis using same only. So, <coughs> some my voice is audible okay good some network issues my voice is audible or not yes sir you are <laughs> okay 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 so applications of scanning electron microscope in civil engineering i have explained you that the main application of same is in concrete technology. In concrete technology, the scanning electron microscopic images will give you the in-depth knowledge of the microstructure, the dispersion of the ingredients, voids <coughs> and interfacial transition zone width. Actually, in my presentation, I have not incorporated any image from Google or from online source. No, this is my work which I am demonstrating you and I have published paper also. So in this, I have taken microsilica as a ingredient along with cement which has given me good improvement in CSH is gel formation. CSH gel means calcium silicate hydrate. That is the major compound which we have to study and we have to keep in mind which imparts strength to our concrete. And the replacement ratios I have taken 25%, 50%, 70%, 100% like this. I have replaced virgin aggregates by recycled one and I have casted the cubes. I have determined the specific gravity of recycled aggregates also, virgin aggregates also. After that, I have designed my cubes. But the question is, if I am mixing recycled aggregates along with the virgin aggregates, I will definitely get less specific gravity value will be less in case of recycled aggregates as compared to the virgin aggregates. So which specific gravity I should consider in my mix design? I have taken average value and I have casted my cubes and when I achieved the target strength, I decided the mix proportion and I proceeded further forecasting my cubes. So 0% means I have not used recycled aggregates in my cubes. I have casted cubes with 100% virgin aggregates. So the percentage replacement 
in my cubes which I have casted as 0%, 25%, 50%, 75% and 100%. I have studied the replacement of virgin aggregates by recycled one, 100% replacement. But the microstructural analysis when I studied, it was observed that the properties were very poor as compared to the normal concrete. So I concluded that no, above 50% not possible. But there is a lot of scope in this field for research. If you can increase the percentage replacement of recycled aggregates using chemical admixtures or few superplasticizers, then it will be a great work. Then 15% microsilica, 10% microsilica, I have changed the percentages of microsilica. I have changed the percentages of the replacement of recycled aggregates and I have studied compressive strength workability which we consider as we can say that the basic properties of concrete workability by uh, compaction factor method workability by slump cone test i have studied i have taken the compressive strength also and finally water cement ratio was taken 0.55 and the percentage which you are getting here 1 is to 2.36 is to 3.2 that was the mixed proportion I casted my cubes and after that these cubes it is quite obvious that when you will test those cubes in compression testing machine in CTM your cubes will get rupture cubes will fail after that I have taken the powder samples from those cubes. I have extracted powder samples. But remember well, the extraction of powder samples should not be from the surface of the cube wherein you will get only the motor part. So aggregate impact tester you might be having in your laboratory, you break those concrete rubbles into pieces and from 9 micron sieve you carry on the sieve analysis and fine powder which you are getting you try those samples for same SEM. You fill those powders in bottles and uh, label those bottles like this as I have mentioned here NCRA 10 MS 15 normal concrete with 10% recycled aggregate replacement with 15% micro silica. Like this you make your abbreviations and you then try to analyze those samples in same. At our university campus we have scanning electron microscope and uh, we conduct uh, workshops at regular intervals, hands on training on same. So, from that, you have to focus mainly on ITZ value and the whole research fraternity is running after this. Now, what exactly ITZ is? Recycled aggregates, when the structure is demolished and you are taking those rubbles to crusher unit, and then you are getting recycled aggregates. But those recycled aggregates have old mortar adhered to its surface. And when you use those old recycled aggregates in fresh concrete, your mortar gets adhered to the old mortar. And then bonding takes place. So whatever the gap is between the aggregate and the old motor that you can call it as ITZ, you can call it as 
old ITZ and the gap which will range in micro and nano range the gap between the old motor and the fresh new motor there will also be one gap that you can call it as fresh or new ITZ so ITZ indicates interfacial transition zone width interfacial means between two faces and transition means old motor to new motor old aggregate to old motor so there are three things first is your old aggregate over that old aggregate the old motor is already adhered to that fresh motor will be adhered and that gap is known as the interfacial transition zone width if you can study the hardness of that gap if you can study the itz width value which will range in micro and nano 10 to the power minus 6 or 10 to the power minus 9 lesser will be the value of the itz more durable the concrete will be more will be the value of the itz lesser durability the concrete will show so this itz reflects the serviceability and durability of concrete whatsoever the concrete type is maybe a bacterial concrete i am today delivering this lecture on uh, recycled aggregate concrete <clears throat> or whatsoever the type of concrete is so in order to study in order to analyze the microstructural properties you have to focus on two aspects one rather you can say three aspects one <coughs> percentage of csh gel formation how much percentage of calcium silicate gel has been formed because of the hydration process more the gel formation will be there more will be the compressive strength but only this parameter will not serve the purpose Second parameter you have to study how is the dispersion of that CSH gel within the concrete body. CSH gel has formed. If you will refer to the reputed journals, research papers, C by S ratio they are showing. C by S ratio means what? Calcium upon silica if you are going for edx you will get elemental analysis you uh, prepare a table demo showing this uh, c by s ratio if you are going for x-ray diffraction quantitative and qualitative analysis you are doing you will get oxides of calcium and silica cao sio2 you go for that ratio you may get the ratio of oxide or ratio of elements but one thing is obvious that you have to study the ratio of either calcium by silica or calcium oxide by silicate CaO by SiO2. So the quantity, the percentage of CSH gel formation is highlighted with these two ratios. But the another, the second aspect to be studied is the dispersion of that CSH gel. And that dispersion can be studied with the help of EDX. Now, in that EDX, you can use various colors and the dispersion of various elements will be observed there because dispersion is also very, very important parameter. When you found that the dispersion is good and CSH gel formation this ratio is in proper way then the third is you have to study the final test you have to study itz for that you need SEM. in itz you uh, you have to study itz in SEM, you will definitely get the structure images after some time i am going to demonstrate you you will get 
the values of ITZ and when you will find that these ITZ values are lesser, tighter the ITZ, good, durable and serviceable concrete you will get. So in this way you have to study the microstructural analysis of any type of concrete. This is the master method I am demonstrating you for research. You use any chemical, you use any type of concrete, you use whatever you want to use. But you have to go in this line of action. Now, these are the images which, uh, these are means uh, the, the work has been done by me sample has been tested and I have a lot of powder samples in my laboratory, my own samples. So these are not the Google images and pics. These are my own uh, analysis samples. Now in SEM, if you are getting like this, see this white color, you are getting this, right? So, and this is, you can call it as ITZ. Right. So, these are the scanning electron microscopic images and if you will increase the resolution, you will even get the size if plates are there, if flaky structure is there, you will get the size of the flake as if it is a pentagonal, if it is a hexagonal like this see here you will clearly observe that absence of CSH gel formation see here here it is absent here it is absent so this is the absence of CSH gel formation generally such types of images you will get when your replacement ratio is more than 50 percent you see this you are getting lot of voids here one sort of rupture you can say you cannot say which one is the old mortar and which one is the new mortar but from this you can say that okay 61.9 nanometers so such types of ruptures and uh, voids you will get here total absence of CSH gel here something a white color this is CSH gel is observed rest the dispersion is very very less see this in this distribution up to some extent is quite good as per the CSH gel is concerned but dispersion is good but the quantity of CSH gel formation is not good here uh, means uh, you are not getting I can say dense clouds of this uh, CSH uh, uh, gel but the dispersion I am getting throughout the concrete body so such types of cases may you uh, it may arise when you use any admixture which improves your dispersion also but uh, still uh, there should be some improvement in the CSH gel formation. So for that you have to improve the cement quantity or you have to change the quantity of the chemical admixture and so on look at this image uh, very less CSH gel formation and this is the image you can say say here I have mentioned already 50% recycled aggregate so when you are using uh, recycled aggregate percentage uh, 50 or above you will not uh, get uh, good quality concrete so this is the limitation and this is the challenge for researcher to increase the quantity percentage replacement of recycled aggregate lot of voids are seen see here 81.5 nanometers means 81.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 so this is the advantage beauty of scanning electron microscope but from scanning electron microscope uh, you can easily calculate the ITZ value if you will increase your resolution after increase of resolution of these images, you will definitely get uh, such types of uh, structures also see this and in SEM you can measure also. 
you can measure not only these voids but you can measure this uh, lens and uh, flex area like this but in this uh, you will observe this uh, see this is CSH gel this is CSH and means good uh, CSH gel uh, has been formed in this image if you will look at this uh, CSH gel formation is there and but at the same time voids are also there look at this image dense CSH gel formation and along with that the whole uh, dispersion is also quite good in some areas you will not get but uh, most of the area from here you can say uh, very good dispersion and formation of uh, CSH gel in this case if you will look at this see I will quote here one example uh, everyone uh, those who are listening to me they might be knowing you know orthopedic surgeon is there he is a doctor and uh, one person what we call it as he used to take the x-ray he can take x-rays in case of fractures and accidents he can take x-ray but uh, what where exactly the fracture is and all these things needs expertise right for that uh, orthopedic surgeon is required the same way uh, as those who are listening to me for the first time they will think that all the images which i have shown here are one and the same thing it is quite obvious it needs a lot of practice and when you will see at least 50 to 100 images then you will be able to judge within fraction of second looking at this uh, image that no this concrete will not give you give us the desired serviceability like this see in this image i have mentioned here 100 percent recycled aggregates absolutely there is no uh, virgin aggregate right now see here there is absolutely no strains of csh gels right here also the voids are there right you may call it as itz actually right and their voids are also there and csh gel is not at all present so this condition will definitely arise when you are replacing the virgin aggregate with 100% recycled aggregates. In this, uh, actually uh, this image will give you only the brief idea overview but the exact quantity if you want to calculate you can uh, you have to go for x-ray diffraction analysis in that or edx you will get percentage I mean, qualitative and quantitative analysis you will get in that so see here when i have replaced with 100 percent aggregates uh, recycled aggregates uh, naturally um, csh gel formation is absolutely negligible and see the void see this itz right but see the beauty of SEM, you are getting clear cut the uh, the width itz width now at last i will uh, briefly explain you the controversies associated with uh, sampling of the concrete powder sample for sale this is the image in this it is clear obvious csh gel it is evident this is and in a whole throughout the body this csh gel has been dispersed no issues at all look at this how wonderful you are getting the ITZ here. See this. In every image you, uh, you will not get. When you will sit practically at least to scan a CM image it takes uh, and to determine ITZ it takes minimum one hour. Because you have to scan and scan and scan you have to change the resolution unless and until you will not get a good uh, picture of uh, interfacial transition zone and once you are getting interfacial transition zone you can then uh, get the width very easily from same so see this this is a wonderful uh, interfacial transition zone and this transition zone actually comprises of uh, air also the cement particles also and sometimes uh, what you can say water and all these things so uh, the second aspect the another aspect of researcher is 
uh, as I have studied here the width of ITZ, researchers used to study the hardness of this ITZ. If you are studying the hardness of this ITZ, right? They are correlating the serviceability and durability aspect with reference to the hardness. But as I have discussed with the IIT persons also, uh, studying hardness of ITZ is a really a Herculean task. So it's quite easy what I feel so to study the width of ITZ so that we can come to proper conclusion. And in this if you will look at this image, now uh, most of your confusion uh, might be clear. This is the image I have taken, means maximum CSH gel formation, you can say. I have used optimum dose 15% microsilica. Above 15% microsilica, I have not uh, obtained good results. But 15% microsilica, the optimum dose I have used and absolutely 0% recycled aggregates, all virgin aggregates. You see the CSH gel dispersion, you see the quantity of CSH gel formed. You just see this. So in this way, you will get the images, a wonderful transition zone has been obtained from this image it is 67.5 nanometer one thing you uh, note that it is not like that if i am taking my cursor while analyzing the sample in same it will give 67.5 here it may give 58.5 so while analyzing you have to take uh, the values and wherever you are getting the maximum value you take that value not necessary to show three four values in a picture maximum value you try to take you see this image in which i have used 25 percent recycled aggregates with my with optimum dose of microsilica 15 percent good quality csh gel has been formed and in this way uh, I will not extend the demonstration of these images in this way uh, you can analyze the formation of the CSH gel see 50% recycled aggregate CSH gel formation is very less here and in this way if uh, you are analyzing uh, your sample in uh, same you will get images and few conclusions can be drawn now the controversies associated with ITZ <coughs> that I will explain you and apart from concrete the controversies I will explain you but apart from concrete this scanning electron microscopic images are used in soil engineering analysis also if you are working or doing research in geotechnical engineering then in that also your same images uh, are required and it will work now the controversy is associated with this I shall explain you <coughs> please look at these images now the images which I have shown are my own uh, research images which I have carried out the analysis of the sample now these are the Google images right these are the images maybe someone might have worked see this if you will look at this whatever the concrete is or whatever mortar is we don't know I am just uh, trying now to explain what are the controversies associated with ITZ the first controversy is if you are extracting powder sample Okay, I am not taking from surface. <clears throat> if I am taking from surface, then that aggregate uh, portion or the uh, some part of a recycled aggregate or aggregate might not be incorporated in that sample. So I have used, you also I am uh, suggesting to use impact tester in that you crush those rubbles and get the powder in such a way 
which will resemble um, uh, from the heart or from the core of the concrete cube uh, so that uh, every component should be available in your powder sample but the question is when you are using ag aggregate uh, tester and taking and extracting the powder sample those who are associating the concept of residual stress analysis for serviceability and durability of any type of concrete so it is quite obvious that your stresses gets disturbed because your cube is subjected to ctm those who work on x-ray diffraction in x-ray diffraction they go for residual and non-residual stress analysis or they go for the stress analysis for disturbed sample stress analysis for undisturbed sample so your sample is disturbed in ctm so definitely your uh, stresses will be altered so how can you extract the sample powder sample and go for scm and see the images and it is it that is one aspect the another the other controversy is most of uh, the researchers are taking this uh, aggregate one aggregate then they are polishing it then they are doing some treatment over it uh, some small cubicle, uh, uh, small means say 0.5 centimeters like this, something they are doing. Means there are lot of controversies associated to your sample extraction in concrete related to SEM analysis. But as per my experience is concerned, I will simply suggest you not to worry and uh, not to pay attention to such controversies because you have already in hand one uh, what you can say uh, CTM you have so if you are getting ITZ and your ITZ is suggesting you that yes this type of concrete is will be durable and serviceable ITZ values are very tight very less it's good concrete if from SEM you are getting that then to justify those results you have compressive strength obtained from ctm so if you are using ctm in association with this so absolutely you don't have to worry about the practices for sample extraction and you tell me after my lecture you search what are the standard codes of practices proposed by indian standard code of practice for sample extraction which should be used in SEM and XRD. If there is any code, you please tell me, let me know. So, absolutely you should work in coordination with CTM and SEM. Then sample extraction process will not confuse you. In my work, the same thing I have done. Whatever I have drawn the graphs of ITZ values, they, those graphs were strongly justified by my compressive strength obtained from CTM values. If I am getting good strength in CTM and I am getting here ITZ value in nano range, it's obvious that concrete is serviceable and durable. Apart from that, the third parameter which you have to study in uh, conjunction with these two is you study its surface, you study SEM images. In SEM images also you will come to know that yes, formation and dispersion is pretty good. And if you are proposing final percentage of replacement to someone, you study EDX and XRD also. So when you will study all these parameters in coordination with each other, sample extraction should not be the controversy in this research area. And I strongly agree with hardness study of ITZ will again give you the good prediction for percentage replacement of recycled aggregates. A study this image, see this. See this. These are the Google images. This is the new motor, means recycled, and this is the old motor. Recycled aggregate is already having the old motor 
and when you are using those in fresh concrete the new mortar gets adhered to it but this is the transition zone it is not possible that old and new concrete will get adhered to each other in such a way that there will be no transition zone with no not at all possible so in google images also you will come to know uh, the various types of itz uh, values and uh, <coughs> the sample preparations and a lot of research is going on and as uh, in the beginning sir has mentioned that concrete is future what in concrete technology what researchers are trying for self filling concrete bacterial concrete researchers are trying to develop such a concrete which may last more than 100 years suppose i am assuming if we are uh, in a position to develop a concrete which may last uh, for say 150 years nothing like that no service maintenance nothing so good durable and serviceable concrete production is the main aim of every researcher and in that regard everyone is uh, doing research so this is all about the microstructural analysis of recycled aggregate concrete this is all about the methodologies to be adopted to test the concrete is serviceable and durable this is all about but now i have observed that i have to extract the sample i have to wait for 28 days to cast the cubes then i am getting scm images then i am getting itz right so how much time is required if you are acting as a consultant and you have to propose within a day or three to someone that this should be your percentage replacement ratio for this type of recycled aggregates now it's a very vast area that the properties of the recycled aggregates depends upon the age and the deterioration weather conditions how specific gravity is altered that is different aspect but if you have to propose and secondly whatever the mix designs you are preparing then you, your target strength is not achieved then again you are casting the cubes and you are taking again 28 days how it is possible so for that i have developed the software with the help of which you will get some sort of predictions related to the quantity of the materials cement sand aggregate recycled aggregate proposed itz value so you will get one sort of uh, what we can say percentage replacement ratio you can propose after doing the experimentation work but for cube casting for mix design you can take the help of the software and your efforts your expenses also will get reduced so look at this software now i am demonstrating you and this software has been developed by me and in this um, you will get uh, what i can say uh, proposed itz value you will get in this software <coughs> because uh, the problem is when you try to cast the data when you try to cast a cube you have some particular data of specific gravity and so on but when you actually try to cast the cubes you know many times you are not getting the target strength and you get frustrated and when we talk about the recycled aggregates really those days when i was doing research dr kanthe sir was in association with me he was also doing research from nit raipur we used to have discussion many a times many a times we have to cast again and again check the target strength and we get lot of problems so now let us see here how this problem can be avoided and uh, you can get 
directly what i can say the percentage proportion of the materials to be used for casting cubes now regarding this software the name of the software is software rac this software is developed by me and this software uses the online material library and this software is based on artificial intelligence python in python the programming is done and this software will be very soon available on our university server kalinga university server and that will be a paid one but it will be a very cheap for students researchers and industry persons and that software will be accessed anyone can access only requirement is he or she should have a laptop computer mobile application yeah this software will not work and they can access from that particular server and they can take the output from the software so you need not to worry that your computer kharab ho gaya or license is expired this that no you will get lifetime access now as i have a time limitation of 1 hour i am just showing you in one line i will explain you that you will get such types of automated graphs which indicates the relationship of various materials with each other you will get the feature correlation heat map you will get the distribution of compressive strength automatically see here the range is from 30 to 55 megapascal you will get the bubble graphs the advantage of bubble graph is these bubble graphs cannot be plotted by hand as you might be knowing students that graph semi log 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 these graphs can be plotted but these bubble graphs cannot be plot plotted by hand it has to be programmed and these bubble graphs indicates that what is the impact of cement on compressive strength dark colored bubbles light colored bubbles and so on so such types of bubble graphs will be developed automatically you need not to do anything coarse aggregates and compressive strength impact of coarse aggregates on compressive strength that will be indicated like this then this software takes around 1 1.5 minutes time if your net connectivity is good to access the online li uh, libraries and uh, <coughs> it generates such graphs which you can study you need not to do anything graphs will be automatically generated and this software is under process uh, copyright in india i shall discuss that also this is the model loss graph and this <coughs> this is the predicted and actual value comparison graph and this is your neural network diagram see 118 neurons 246 neurons like this so it will be automatically generated so four output values and uh, eight input values are there i will demonstrate you and out of four i have uh, actually highlighted two values compressive strength and itz two values are hidden and the layers used are four so actual and predicted values this is the graph these graphs will be automatically generated and after that we will start for prediction
when we access this for prediction now we have eight parameters which we have to fill input and we have two parameters which we will get output compressive strength and ITZ. Now when this software will be uploaded on our university server you need not to do all these things you will get everything automatically so now it's time for prediction so you have obtained minimum 8 to 10 graphs and neural network uh, diagram automatically you will get now let us take one example suppose you want to predict say cement is suppose 112 kg sand 2 to 3 coarse aggregates suppose 3 4 5 kg recycled aggregates you have used suppose 1 2 3 micro silica you have used suppose 65 water cement water suppose in liters 150 liters specific gravity of coarse aggregates you might have taken 2.65 fine aggregates you have taken minus 2.6 this correction factor actually I have incorporated but it is not required correction factor means so this is one I am taking whatever the values there are you see eight inputs are there in those eight inputs cement sand coarse aggregate recycled aggregate micro silica water specific gravity like this water cement ratio is not there directly quantity of water and if you are taking correction factor 1 means actual value you will get but sometimes if you need that my desired value should be 1.5 times more than what I have got the prediction so you can use the correction factor 1.5 and you will get the desired value now if I am going for the prediction whatever the quantities I have used the proposed value is Compressive strength will be 26.91 megapascal. ITZ will be 11.98 nanometers. Now, what is the advantage of developing this software? If you are getting these two parameters, whatever the percentages I have used, it will clearly give you that this much material if you are using, this is the range. And if you think that, okay, I have casted the cubes for 20 megapascal, my target strength is around 26.91, okay, it's good. And my ITZ value is also ranging in between this, then you actually cast now the cubes and test in CTM, test in SEM for ITZ. Whatever the values you are getting in software, you try to correlate with the experimental one and you do your you draw your conclusions so this is one sort of guideline prior to go for the mix design because in this mix design you are using micro silica you are using recycled aggregates so in this way this software works then one more use one uh, application of this software is this software is self-developing software self-developing software means one excel file is there in that excel file you have to put the values you take any research paper from that research paper you put here cement sand coarse aggregate micro silica this that that right and you take the results predictions from this software if that researcher has used cement or water quantity 130 you try to study the predictions using 150 liters water so you can compare my students has already worked they have taken the data from the research papers they have uh, used this software and whatever the gaps 
in the research paper is gaps means suppose someone has used the percentage replacement replacement ratio as 30 60 90 percent so you try to predict the values at 40 percent you try to predict the values 70 percent using artificial network with this software and you can predict you can make your conclusions based on the conclusions drawn by the researcher you will definitely get the same conclusions but the data which the researcher has published in your research paper few more data related to output will be available so this is all about this software so this software is useful to predict to go for mixed design but it has limitations only it will predict and it will give you the values if you are using micro silica and recycled it is for only recycled aggregate concrete so in this way this software is useful for mixed design in this way you have to proceed further for microstructural analysis of not only recycled aggregate concrete but today i have given you uh, idea or you can say a path to move ahead in research field whatsoever your type of concrete is you go by this way so i think students now it's time for doubts you please ask me if you have doubts please yes students you can ask questions my chat box is also open you can use chat box in case of poor network connectivity and after this guest lecture or talk uh, you have lot of new ideas which you have to search in Google or you or in research paper what XRD is, what SEM is, what are the provisions uh, actually mentioned by Indian Standard Code of Practice related to this advanced high ending high end testing methods. Search for codes. And if you have any doubt, I am in chat box. Uh, you can drop me the mail if you have any doubts. This is uh, my mail ID. I shall definitely clarify your doubts. Yes, students, you can ask here also. If you have any doubt, you can ask here. I think BTEC students are there, so they might uh, anyway, but uh, at least you can extract one sample, uh, send that sample to IIT, NIT or to our university. We have machines. We will definitely guide you. We will provide you the analysis reports. Uh, yes, uh, for BTEC students, uh, your project uh, so whatever what specimens are there, you can send to this Kalinga University. Of course. Uh, professor uh, itself, uh, they yes, can yes, analyze yes. your sample and send you details. Yes. They have their own uh, XRD XL machinery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have central instrumentation facility in that XRD fraction. Same we have. Yeah. So that's why. Uh, Yes, see, uh, Mr. Kar Sharma, okay, see, polymer concrete, concrete with admixture, whatever, you will get wonderful images of polymer in same, and you can even uh, analyze the diameter of that polymer, how the test has been adhered to the polymer, and how much the increase in diameter of the polymer is, that also you will come to know there. So whether it is a polymer concrete or whatsoever the concrete in future is, note this well. 
वॉट सो एवर द नेम ऑफ द कॉन्क्रीट इन फ्यूचर इज वॉट सो एवर द केमिकल यू आर यूजिंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड मेथडोलॉजी दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड मेथडोलॉजी विच यू हैव टू एडॉप्ट टू स्टडी द ड्यूरेबल एंड सर्विसेबल कॉन्क्रीट वॉट सो एवर द कॉन्क्रीट इज नीड नॉट टू वरी नीड नॉट टू बॉदर वॉट सो एवर द कॉन्क्रीट इज it's about lightweight concrete same methodology okay dr kante sir yes any more questions students otherwise we will go for the ending of session or sir has given their personal mail id also if you have any further doubt in your study then also you can send to mail to me yes yes please no issues at all and uh, my whatsapp number also i am sharing here you can whatsapp me no issues at all yes students you can write down this uh, mail id and uh, contact number of sir yes yes you can directly contact to with them also yes it will be very useful to uh, for your project uh, uh, finding your project report also yes uh, for b tech for m tech in future if you are pursuing higher degrees programs you have to go through this way tunnel electron microscopy and tem is there so you have to follow the same path if you are working in concrete te uh, technology or structural dynamics you have to go through it Okay, sir. I think there are no more questions. <laughs> It's okay. They, when they will start doing research and studies, they will have questions ah, in mind. Then they will. And definitely they will uh, contact me. Yes. Because uh, currently now this is a, a very new topic. Ah, uh, that's why. That's uh, why. I understand. I think they are they are not that much aware about that. Yes, I understand. Just now in our university it is included. Okay, sir. And, uh, now they are studying in that one okay and address sir Okay, students. So, uh, on the behalf of uh, Gurugram Singh Engineering College, uh, I am very thankful to Dr. Nishikant sir. Thank you, sir. You gave their uh, very precious work for this uh, and share with us all students and faculties. Uh, very wonderful session are there, sir. It is very useful to our new researchers as well as uh, final year project reports of uh, students. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And very nice to listen you sir after a long time uh, we heard you and hope in future also you can uh, share this uh, software knowledge uh, as a training part yes uh, for, for our students yes yes sure sure so again i'm thankful to all the participants to join this session and listening uh, this all uh, expert talk related to microstructure study of the concrete and i hope it will be helpful to you uh, for the study also so once again sir uh, i'm very thankful to you thank you thank you sir and now uh, dear students and chat box feedback is also given there so you must to fill that uh, form before ending the session so thank you sir once again thank you very much sir so, yeah, thank you